That's what I do! Whenever a new War Thunder update comes out, I usually make a video going over how I feel about it, how I think it can be improved, stuff like that. I wasn't planning on doing that for Drone Age for a few reasons. First, the update video usually is pretty negative, and I kind of want to steer away from negative content. And second, I felt like besides drones, it was going to be a pretty boring update. But yeah, obviously my plans have changed. Like when I made my drone video, I basically said they're either going to be very broken or kind of just useless. And from what we saw on the dev server, it looked like they were just going to be useless. But then the live server came out and it was basically the exact opposite. So not only were drones incredibly cheap to spawn for what you get, but they also spawn, it's like 5 kilometers above the battlefield, like directly above it. And that's awful for a few reasons. First of all, it allows you to see everything on the battlefield, there's practically no way to hide from it. Second, it puts them above what most radars can see. Like, I tried a variety of radars and even radar types. Nothing could really detect drones. And third, sometimes they're at such a great distance that they don't even render in. Like in one match, I was scanning the sky for drones and I just see a cornet appear out of nowhere. And this changed like just an hour ago. But they were so cheap that you could get one kill, die, spawn in, and then get basically two free kills. And then you could respawn a tank. It was basically begging to be abused for revenge kills. And it was to an insane degree. I think yesterday, probably like 60% of my deaths were drones. And most of them were revenge kills. That's just for strike drones, for recon drones. I know people are pretty split on those. Some say they're fine, some say they're broken. I'm more in the broken camp, but I think they're more just annoying than anything else. They are basically a distraction, but in a squad they are pretty powerful. Like, I couldn't even see that drone until he dropped altitude after firing his missiles. If you have the squadron marker bound... Oh, I'm being hit by a drone, I think. Yeah, like, that didn't appear on my radar at all. If you have squadron markers bound, recon drones are an incredibly powerful tool. Or you could just use the chat to tell your teammates where they are. I don't know how that didn't kill a BMP too, but alright. If I'm feeling vindictive, I can just spawn in a drone, find the person that killed me, and there's nothing that they can do about it, really. And there are all these AA that have no idea that I'm here. So yeah, drones are an awful addition, obviously. I can't think of a single person that is happy with them. The spawn point cost increase was a good change, and I'm glad that Gaijin jumped on it so quickly. However, there's a lot more that needs to be done. They should not be spawning in space above radar. But before getting into more negative stuff, I do want to mention that this update's not all bad. Like, I'm a pretty big fan of most of the effects. The new effects for when a vehicle is damaged or destroyed are great. The new smoke effect is kinda eh. And they did a lot of bug fixes this time around, like, three of my own bug reports were actioned during this update. However, I do feel that taking the York's AP round wasn't necessary, because they did it under the guise of, you know, this tank was never supposed to use this round. But if they followed that logic for everything, things would be very different. Like, American light tanks never use C-76A1. A lot of Russian tanks would be stuck with Mango. You know, it's fine if they want to change it for the sake of gameplay, but don't do it under the guise of historical accuracy. The Frogfoot having all aspect missiles at 9.3 was very funny. I mean that sarcastically, if it wasn't obvious. I do like that they say it was an incorrect BR placement, when I think we all know that it was very intentional, and they just changed it after they got a ton of uproar. But I don't think that all aspect missiles should be at 9.7, and that goes for the A-10 too. At least for Air RB, you know. Uh, the T-80 UK, obviously not needed. From what I've seen of Russian top tier, it really hasn't uh, brought it down at all. So if they got drones under control, really the update would be fine, as it is. But it, I don't think it'd be an understatement to say that drones have made top tier extremely unfun to play. Basically, everything I worried about in that drone video came true. 
It's really easy to overwhelm a team's AA defenses, even if they have like three up at one time. Like, I can fly around and tell my teammates exactly what's going on. These are way too difficult to hit, unless you have proxy like the York. Drones are a waste for what you get out of them, but that doesn't make them fair. What I am doing is wasting spawn points that I could be using on another tank, or a plane, or whatever, and using it just to basically smite whoever killed me. There's nothing they can do about it. And if I see something that could act as AA, like a CV-90 with proxy, well, there it goes. I've just cleared the way for helicopters or planes or whatever. But you guys get the point. I think I've complained about this enough at this point. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Because if you disagree on something, I'd be happy to hear it. I know I've been making a lot of gameplay videos recently, but, but I do have some scripted content in the works, so don't worry too much about it. And I'll see you on the next one.